Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. Typically, when sizing and selecting a servo motor, it involves comparing the motor's rotor inertia to the load inertia. This is as seen at the motor shaft, or what we call reflected inertia. It was thought that in a compliant load, any ratio greater than 10 to 1 would be impossible to tune. In this video, we will demonstrate how a much higher inertia mismatch application can be successfully tuned using the performance servo tuner in the AKD servo drive. The goal is to show that a highly compliant system with a large inertia mismatch can be tuned with enough phase and gain margin to remain stable for the life of the machine. This offers our customers, utilizing the tuning tool in the AKD, the option of selecting a lower price solution by using a smaller motor. This experiment was performed by my associate, Dan Wilkie, with a known load and known application limits. When experimenting on your own system, be sure to know what the travel and velocity limits are to prevent damage to the system or injuries to persons. The system used was a 3 amp AKD drive with 120 volts AC supply. The load is 111 pounds attached to a 42 inch belt driven actuator with a 2 to 1 ratio timing belt. The motor is an AKM 23D with a 2048 line incremental encoder. The inertia ratio for the system is 86.3 to 1, well beyond drive's tuning ability. The motor was selected from the database and the drive was set to the standard default settings and tuning. A motion task has been created to make a move down and back and the workbench scope has been set up to capture the move before tuning takes place. In the scope we can see the move is not very stable. The next step is to tune the system using the performance servo tuner. Using the performance servo tuner, there are a couple of changes from the default. In the measurement tab, start by setting excitation current manually. The level was set to one amp in our example. This is about 50% of the motor's continuous current rating. Pseudo random binary or PRB excitation was selected. The fast Fourier transform or FFT is set to 140,000 points. A higher FFT setting will provide more accurate data. Auto-tune tab. Set to custom methods so that it will calculate a true bi-quad filter. Turn off the stability motion test, which will make a motion test move at the end of the auto-tune process. The auto-tune will take a while because of the high number of sample points and the complex calculations for the bi-quad filter. The excitation amplitude should be high enough to shape the load for accurate data. Too low, the data will not be accurate. Once the settings are completed, click Start. A notice will pop up reminding you that the system is about to move. When finished, check the gain and phase margins. To measure the phase margin, move the cursor to the point where the open loop plot crosses 0 dB in the amplitude plot. Measure the gap of the open loop plot in the phase graph between the line and minus 180. The desire is at least minus 45 degrees gap. This confirms the system will not go unstable. To measure the gain margin, move the cursor to the point where the open loop plot crosses minus 180 in the phase graph and measure the gap between the line and 0 dB in the amplitude plot. This confirms the system will not go unstable and make a high frequency screaming noise. Returning to the scope screen, the move originally made is repeated and captured. In the blue velocity feedback plot, you can see the quantization noise from the low resolution feedback device. Not a problem for motion controller as long as it's not audible in the motor. Using the old rule of 10 to 1, a motor would be selected based on the required torque and the reflected inertia ratio. 
This would, in certain cases, require a motor with much more torque than required, simply because the motor's inertia was required to be higher. Understanding you can use a much higher reflected inertia ratio means you can offer a smaller motor for the same application. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. Thank you to my associate Dan Wookie for setting up the system and capturing the data. Join us in our next video.